one side you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Effective punch there by Chor. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the court? Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Punch coming. It's blocked. Big, powerful punch man. Now he gets back in range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 30 seconds. All collar tie, and they separate. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Felder. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Massive takedown with him land. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Well, he's 
in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're still working and we're still looking to be sharp. Go. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Felder gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Big knee lands right through the corner's midsection. Oh, well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Great punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, nice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still on. Deuce Hurt, throws him up. Go get him. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, nice shot there. Takedown landed by Felder. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside and try to find space. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensive. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on the bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then 
he can start to work on his defensive transitions. You don't want a guy... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Ten seconds remain in round two. Right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Nice punch man. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Swing and a miss by Choi. Connects now with the one two. by Felder. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Sound strike on the ground. Felder's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. That right hand landed. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Just over three minutes to go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Choi going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Felder gets up. He is back on the feet here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turned his hip over when he pulled that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Felder gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a punch. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Both 
Myers hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Unable to connect with the right hand there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Wow. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big elbow there. Stelter gets caught with that punch. Oh, big left. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, what a round! Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here.